Hello, welcome back. Five minutes past nine. Now, for more than three decades, they've had us singing along to hits like Lucky You, The Life of Riley and, of course, Three Lions. We are, of course, talking about the Lightning Seeds and they're back with a new album and a tour. See You in the Stars is the band's first album in 13 years. I'm going to speak to lead singer Ian Brodie, who was grimacing when I said 13 years then. <laughs> uh, we'll find out why in a moment. But first, let's have a listen back to some of those hits. As you can see, Ian's with us now. Morning. Good morning. Now, that song there, that's the new one, that had a very familiar sound. Just explain to us why that might be familiar. Well, I wrote that song. I've written a few songs, actually, with my good friend Terry Hall, uh, who is, I think, you know, uh, uh, probably a, a, an unsung genius, even though he's quite sung. I think he should be more sung. I think he's so <laughs> fabulous. From the specials. The songs. Yeah, from the specials, the Fun Boy 3, the Colour Fears. He's written some brilliant tunes. We actually wrote together as well and uh, we're quite pally so, and when we get together and write a song usually something good might happen so 13 years 13 years what kept you yeah I was grimacing because I feel like a naughty boy when people <laughs> say 13 years you're like 13 years you know, get on with it you're late yeah yeah exactly I, d I just um I always feel with lightning seeds there's a certain concoction that is the sound of the lightning seeds and although it's me writing it I think I have to be in a certain frame of mind. And it's quite an upbeat frame of mind, isn't it? That's it. I think, I think it's quite difficult. I could probably write sad, miserable songs all day, <laughs> but I think it's quite tricky to write an up, positive song with a, a melody that isn't banal. It's easy to write one that's quite trite, but to try and get one that isn't, but it is positive. I think, you, it, you know, sometimes when that, it just it moves away and then you can't quite, I think, um, it's, I think music is an underrated magical quality that, you know, emotionally, we, it's a way we express ourselves and let our feelings out and when we're very happy or we're very sad. And so I think it's important at the moment to have some music that, you know, we can all kind of just relax to and get into. Was part of the problem also perhaps that you were feeling quite sad for some of that time? Yeah, I wasn't, I definitely obviously wasn't um, able to just quite hit the nail on the head with everything. I think everyone goes through changes in their life and you write, you know, a lot of stuff as a musician when you're quite young, really, you know, and you come into it and it's a very exciting thing. Uh, and then life kind of hits you and the bubble might burst. Uh, and then you kind of get back on an even footing after 13 years and you write some songs. We mentioned one of those songs from the early days, Life of Riley which was written yes. about the, the birth of your son, Riley. Absolutely. And to make us all feel really old, he's now performing with you. What's yeah. that like? He is, it's great, actually. I'm always, I kind of look over and I'm always so pleased at what a, what a great guitar player oh, is and what a great. fabulous guy he is as well. So it's fantastic. It's probably the inspiration for me kind of, you know, playing shows again and making the record is partly, I think, his energy really pushing it. And is part of it also because you wanted to share that experience of maybe being in front of a live audience, touring with him. What's that like? It's great. You know, when he was um, little, there's, there's photos of us in a garden together with a, with a toy guitar and then as a teenager and then we did a couple of acoustic gigs and then it's kind of grown into us being on stage together. So it's actually, it's a really lovely thing for me, really. And so I'm just trying to imagine that, that, that moment, if you perform Life of Riley, with Riley on stage, <laughs> what's that like? Well, we, we don't really m make much eye contact <laughs> in that one, you know, kind of like. And it's quite funny because a lot of people react, you know, like, Riley, Riley, it's you, it's you, you know, like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah, I, love. I do know. <laughs> um, and looking ahead, do you think you're going to now just, th th this inspiration is going to keep coming? Do you feel like you're in like a, a little moment of inspiration now? I feel like we're in a great moment as a band. I think we're, we're going to do a tour. We're in a great moment. It's sounding really good. It's quite exciting for me. You know, we'll be playing a lot of the old songs, mostly the old songs and a couple of new ones because I know everyone wants to hear the old ones. But it is fun for us to throw in a couple of new ones as well. And it's kind of recharges you and you kind of want, you know, I think I would like to stay in this moment as long as possible. And of course, as we head towards the World Cup, there is you're one particular it, song. You? You're <laughs> going to ask that question, aren't you? Three Lions. 
it's coming back, it's coming home. I mean, what, do, do you get fed up with it? <sighs> kind of, not really, to be honest. I know I should say, oh, you know, when people sing it, I love it when people sing it. I love it when it comes back and it seems to have this eternal kind of cyclical appearance. It's, it's great. But does it feel like a little bit removed from you in a way? It's definitely apart from all the other lightning seeds things. It is something on its own. And it's kind of, I've had a mixed relationship with that song, really, you know. Of course, it's come home now, hasn't it? We always wanted to come home again. You know, <laughs> and, 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 with you know. the lionesses. Yeah, I thought that watching the lionesses was so inspiring, you know, the way they were often on the pitch. It was great football and you became more and more involved in the competition. They were so brave in the final. And I was personally, you know, thrilled when in the press conference at the end, they all broke in and sung our song, you know, and sung Three Lions. It was, it was just a great moment. And some me. people would say, right, that's it, it's come home. They brought it home. It's time to rest the song. What do you yeah. say to that? I think, it, like every football fan or every sports fan, as soon as you win something, you want to win another thing. And it would be great if the men could be inspired by the lionesses and that the blokes could finally bring it home as well. So you're expecting to hear it again in the next few weeks? Uh, I hope so, yeah, I hope so, <laughs> and I hope the team play well, but I suppose it's down to that, really. How do you think we're going to do? I've no idea, actually, not a clue, but we always seem to, when it comes to a competition, you know, the best comes out, we all bond, and it is Christmas, so we should all be in a good mood, <laughs> so you never know. Thanks for putting us in a good mood this morning. Thank, Thank you, you very much, lovely yeah. talk. Uh, see you in the stars. By the Lightning Seeds, is that now? That is all from us this morning. We're back tomorrow.